No problem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah about a tattoo. Uh, please don't cut me off because I know you're a big manipulator, buddy. Please don't cut me off and I'm going to answer your question. So stop manipulating the room. Everybody here sees you for the fraud you are. You're a bully taking people off the mic. So let people talk. And uh, I, I challenge you on the Bible to let us talk. If you believe in the Bible, let us talk. If you, don't, if you cut us off, you don't believe in the Bible. But anyway, your Jesus sits on the mm -hmm. right hand of God. Does God, your God have a right hand? Is his hand... Not the question. You made a promise that after we finish this topic, we will go to the second topic. You are a coward. Explain to us how God can be a shin. You rejected Jesus to be God for being a man when your God is a shin. Hypocrite, hypocrisy, a bunch of deceiving people. By the way, this is 68, 6842 of the Quran, and Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari agree with what we say. Allah has a shin. I will give you option. His shin is made from beef. Pork or man body? Your mic. Okay, Salam Alaikum. You keep cutting me off because you're scared, obviously. But if you let me answer, I would answer your question. So here, let me go. The, uh, your God, so this will explain my answer if you don't cut me off. So I respectfully ask you don't to cut me off. In Aisha 52.10, the Lord has made, made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all. So is your God an arm? Is your... Yes, my God have arms. Jesus have arms, don't you know? Tommy? What a big deal. And what Asia, man? It's Isaiah. Asia? Isaiah became Asia for Muslims. Now listen. We said to you clearly, God came. It's quite clear that when the Muslims bring up a verse, as you see, they have no idea what they're talking about, as he thought that the book of Isaiah is Aisha, because they just get it off websites. And yeah, if God has arms. We're not against that. What's his point? Because he's God. He's powerful. Not like your God. Can your God become a man? No, he cannot, but, he, but he's a shin. <laughs> you see, guys? Allah cannot be a man, but he is a shin because he is limited. He cannot more. He cannot. He cannot even get to be a leg. He is just a shin. He is just to my knee. He is not growing. He cannot grow even to be a man. And look at you. Look at your disability. You can't answer. We keep asking you the same question. The shin of Allah is attached to butt of Allah, to waist of Allah, to neck of Allah. The shin of Allah is alone. Allah, all of him is just a shin or there's more parts. If there's more parts, explain to us, please, where the shin of Allah is attached to your mind. Assalamu alaikum. Did I call you a name? No, I didn't. Look at what Christianity teaches you to insult people. You are ignorant. And in Christ, he said, we have to say to the liar, you are a liar. This is not an insult. This is telling the truth. This is why we've been forbidden to swear by God. Because the Christians, they have always to say the truth. There is no need for swearing. In your religion, even your God, Allah himself, is swear because he's always lying. So to try to convince you that he's not lying this time, he swear. Swearing in Islam is a proof that Islam is a religion of lie, lie, you know, lies. Because if you are always saying the truth, there is no need to swear. This is why Jesus, he said, either you say yes, yes, or no, no. And anything is out from, is, is, is from Satan. And you are a liar. I'm not calling you names. Answer me if you have the guts to, to answer. Your God, Allah, the Shin, his Shin is the only part of Allah or there is more parts. If there is more parts, tell us, the Shin of Salaamu Alaikum. First, I'm going to call you a liar because you called me a dummy. Is this from the devil, like you said? You should turn the other cheek, my brother. 
you called me a dummy, so you are a liar. So stop lying to the people and stop cutting people off and being a bully. Your God can have an arm. It never says Allah is a shin. It says they will bow to Allah's shin. Prostrate to Allah's shin. So you are a liar by saying Allah the shin. I can play your game just as well, Christian prince. And you are a liar. You called me a dummy. You disrespected me. I did not disrespect you. Is that the teachings of your Lord and Savior? Is that the teachings of your Lord and Savior? Uh, uh, take it easy. Take it easy, Saifullah. For can you a dummy and disrespecting you? The Quran calls us dirty. The Quran calls us najis. The Quran calls us pigs and monkeys. The Quran calls us kuffar. And calling you dummy made you so angry? Amazing. Okay, you are not a dummy. You are smart. Are you happy now? Actually, you are the most smart Muslim ever I met. But doesn't make you smart to me. You are smart for Muslims. You are so dummy for me. Because the one who believes that God is a shin, he cannot be smart. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not insulting you. Now answer me, please. Allah shin is attached to what? We want to know. Your mind. Assalamu alaikum. So you just outed yourself. You're a Jew. Because God turned the Jews into pigs and monkeys that were evil. Just like Jesus put the Jews into... The science of Islam. Jewish, they did fish in Saturday, so Allah made them pigs and monkeys, and it's proven by science. There's a famous scientist, his name, Yama Lai Yama, he's a Panese. He said, and he made a book, it's a true. So it's okay to insult the Jew, right? This is not our topic. Your prophet, he said, Allah is a leg, and you agree. The leg of Allah is attached to what? We want an answer. Please, don't, don't, don't force me to, to retard you. We want to finish this topic before we go anywhere. We are almost done, by the way. We can go to different topic. We're just done. Come on, have some patience, man. 